I really want to start, first of all, by maybe reviewing some of the government's targets. What we've heard is that the government has said its investment infrastructure would increase by 60% this year. How far have we gone with that plan? Yes, I think indeed this is true. Um, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, both the uh, SURE-P, that is the subsidy removal program, has incorporated a lot of investments in, in infrastructure, particularly in the road sector. And um, uh, government's own uh, uh, current investment in the area is also being, being upscaled. And of course, we have continued to work to promote public, uh, sorry, private investment through public-private partnership arrangements in, in infrastructure. And, right. uh, okay, I was, I was just going to ask about, uh, what about rail? And um, rail is something that a lot of people talk about. Um, we've seen some initiatives in several states, Lagos, um, River State, we're seeing some, some state-run um, rail projects in these states. But on the federal side, can you just give us an update on the initiatives that the government is looking to to put out yes. there to link the north and south, north and southern Nigeria? Yes, indeed. Um, the government is, is uh, proceeding with two major initiatives. One is the rehabilitation of the old north-south um, lines, one from Lagos to Kano, and the other from um, Port Harcourt to Meduguri. Uh, both lines have been rehabilitated. Indeed, the Lagos to Kano line is near the completion now and the Port Harcourt to Meduguri line is also uh, um, uh, in, in process, in ongoing. Uh, apart from that, there are also proposals for new lines. You may also be aware that sometimes uh, um, last year, the um, standard gauge line from Lagos to uh, Ibadan had been approved, and I think work has started on that. The intention, of course, is to continue to expand the standard gauge line to carry it from Lagos to Ibadan, and then, of course, up on to, to Abuja. Um, a parallel project from Kaduna to Abuja uh, railway line is on a standard gauge basis is also ongoing. So clearly, both at the federal level and the state level, there are tremendous initiatives in the rail sector. Um, right. Yes. What about um, using concessions as a, a tool to activate many of these transactions? Um, and of course, the whole um, pr public-private partnership... Um, um, that, that is true. The, the, the old lines are being first rehabilitated to get them back in operation, and then they will be concessioned for, for operations and management. So the concession will involve the private sector providing the uh, rolling stock and uh, communication links and the other um, secondary uh, infrastructure, uh, and then providing operations and management as well. Uh, this, this indeed is now being, uh, being worked. The ICRC and the um, Nigerian Railway Corporation and Ministry of Transport are working actually to put the concession in place as soon as the um, main line uh, that the track rehabilitation is completed. And of um, course, and ev aviation, I really have to touch that one because, before we leave. Um, uh, many people feel like we, we, we really have a mess in that area. Um, we, right now, it seems like perhaps only one airline is, is airborne in Nigeria. Um, it's, it really feels like a crisis to some extent. And we really want to get a sense of how the government is looking to address the problem of the aviation sectors right now. Well, as you know, in aviation, basically, there are two, two sides to, 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 the, to the aviation story. One, of course, is the basic infrastructure of uh, airports and, and uh, terminals and so on, which, as I'm sure you're aware, yep. and have been working on over the past uh, year or so. Uh, but there's also the issue of the airline, um, aircraft itself, the airlines. And yep. I think the, the approach is that government seeks to encourage the private airlines that are already in place to to extra to consolidate and create bigger uh, bigger airlines because frankly part of the problem we experience today is that the airlines are too small as business entities in in the aviation industry and uh, I think the the way to go is for these to consolidate. There has been discussion about um, creating a national airline. Um, I think government has been, has been looking into that, but I believe that in the long term, the key is to encourage the, uh, the private airlines to consolidate, to grow. 
um, while government concentrates um, both through its own investment but also through public-private partnerships yeah. to, to put the basic infrastructure like uh, terminals and, um, you know, uh, uh, airline infrastructure.